back. This is Shannon from Horseshoe Firearms. We're here again with another review and unboxing. Um, today we're going to be doing the Ruger Mark IV. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with the Ruger brand. And today we're looking at this 2245 light is what they're calling this. And inside the box we have a manual of course. it comes with an extra magazine our lock and this is a um, basically what they allow you to do with this this particular version this has ambi this does have an ambi safety um, they do include a bushing to where you are able to take the right side safety off and delete that if you would like to so that is a kind of a neat feature I would say um, this one is done in the uh, 45 as I said 2245 that means that you can put 1911 style grips on this um, pistol as well um, looks to be we have a Picatinny rail here on top this is a skeletonized frame that is their light series and with our threaded barrel we can uh, go ahead and pop this end cap off that is half by 28 thread on there this also has adjustable rear sight for windage and elevation um, it is a 10 round magazine <clears throat> metal good stuff and we're going to uh, put our silencer co sparrow on here and do some test shots and we'll be right back with you Pretty good. Well, we just got back from firing this uh, Ruger Mark IV. We did have a couple issues. One being new mags, kind of a pain to get loaded at first. Um, rather stiff. Now that could change as we, uh, as you put more rounds through this, it'll probably loosen up some. And we did have a problem with our Remington high speed old ammo. Uh, didn't seem to like it very much, so we switched over some arms core, uh, newer production type ammo. Um, besides the magazine being a little stiff, um, we didn't have any problems firing the arms core whatsoever. Um, what we're going to do now is we'll do a field strip and cleaning. First, we'll remove our Silence Rico Sparrow here. And as always, we do have our chamber open. Mag has already been dropped. I've made sure this is clear. Um, your first uh, procedure you wanna go through for the cleaning is uh, make sure your bolt is in. Make sure the gun is on safe. And what you'll wanna do is, has a little takedown lever here in the back, which I think is really neat, real ease of operation there. And it's essentially just uh, pull the two halves apart. Now, what's really cool about the Mark IV is you can buy aftermarket uppers, um, and I'm telling you, they go from mild to wild on some of these uh, pistols like this. Um, and you can really have a lot more options, but Ruger's uh, standard on the 20, 2245 light um, actually is a really neat looking upper. Um, it completes the gun. So to take out your bolt, it's literally just pull it out the back. And as always, we're gonna be using our Hillco cleaner. It's like an all-in-one. We're gonna snake our barrel.
picking up some of this dirty uh, 22 red stew here. Can't, can't beat simplicity and that's what this basically is. Just want to get this build up out of there. Much to do there. We're going to also check our trigger pull here in just a few seconds and see what we're showing on the pull gauge. Nothing really much here, just after a few rounds. So to reassemble, basically line this tab up there, push the two halves together, and it clicks right back in. Doesn't get much simpler than that. And that's reassembled. We'll do a pull test here. This does have a magazine disconnect if I'm not mistaken. We'll double check that. It does. So we'll put our magazine back in. Okay, so for our trigger pull test, we're using this Wheeler um, trigger pull gauge. Get this sit nice and steady. Looks like right under six pounds, um, which isn't bad. That, that'll work on a 22 like this. All in all, um, as our other reviews, I, I, in the 22 market, Ruger has done an excellent job with their Mark IV product. Um, it's got a little of uh, tactical and a little bit of the old school kind of mixed in together. Um, having the interchangeable upper, um, like I said, it, your, your possibilities are relatively endless. There's quite a few parts out there to, to really suit these guns up. Um, really impressed with what they've what they've made here. Stay tuned for more from Horseshoe Firearms. As always, check the link in the description and please like and subscribe. Thank you.